Shady, can uh -oh. I? Do you mind if I do? It looks like you already got your mind made I up. I have my mind made up. Do your thing, bro. Do um, your thing. I get... Let me take the collar off. Thank you, sir. Oh, Thank here you, you go. Go get him. Get him. Um, I'm tired of us allowing Jimmy Butler to skate. I think about it like this. Don't push me into a ditch and expect me to applaud you for handing me a ladder. And that's what Jimmy Butler did last night. He pushed the Heat team into a ditch. How are you the fifth leading scorer on a team in which we brag about having seven undrafted players? Three of the undrafted players are major contributors. With four minutes left in the game, five minutes, three seconds to be exact, he was the fifth leading scorer on that team. Caleb Martin has scored more points. Max Juice has scored more points. Uh, Bam Adebayo has scored more points. 37-year-old Kyle Lowry has scored more points. I don't know why we're in the four box right now, because I really just want to see the plays, and I want to see myself, because I'm starting to get aggravated. Kyle Lowry had scored more points. 37-year-old Kyle Lowry. Jimmy, he pushed the heat into a ditch, 2-5. He averaged, I believe it was, 31 points a game in the first 12 games. So we said, all hail Jimmy Butler, rightfully so. But then in the last 10 games, only 21 points per game. The math did not math, not in my mind nor on the scoreboard. But finally, elimination game. Everything to play for. Hungry dogs got to eat. And Jimmy Butler, eight points. Bam Adebayo gave you 18 points in the first half. 18 points in the first half, and all you had for me was eight through three quarters, three and a half quarters. I apologize. Let me get my facts straight. I can't allow it to skate. So I don't think Jimmy Butler is a number one on a championship team. That is what I have concluded. My mind is made up. The facts have been sealed and delivered. Joy, you know more about Jimmy Butler than I do. You've watched more of Jimmy Butler than I have. You tolerate Jimmy Butler more than I can. So is he a number one on a title team in your mind? Well, you know, I, don't, I like to like get very literal. They haven't won a title, and he is the number one. So as of right now, you are correct. Do I think he can be? Yes, I do. He has 592 points in the playoffs. That is second behind only one player. He's a pretty good player. Can we guess who he is? It's Jokic. Jokic. Who has... 600, 592, 600. That's not a big gap. Did Jimmy have a rough night last night? He sure did. Has Jimmy struggled in moments throughout this postseason? Yeah, he absolutely has. But we all have eyeballs, and we know who the number one on this team is. So my issue, I guess, with the Jimmy Butler criticism is we can't simultaneously talk about, or on one hand, talk about how little high-level talent this team has mm -hmm. and how outmatched they were mm -hmm. against the Nuggets and really against everybody else in the playoffs and how they're playing with all these undrafted players. And the number two is Bam that some people don't feel is a number two. And then criticize Jimmy for getting them here. Like, which is it? Did Jimmy drag and lead this team of not all these good players? Or is it Jimmy's fault and Jimmy sh came up short on a team with a bunch of good players? Like, which is it? That's, that's my part with the criticism. Like, we know Jimmy is the reason that they are here. Mm -hmm. So if he's the reason they're here, maybe he's tired. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. he's dealing with an ankle injury. Maybe he's mentally exhausted because he's the one that has to show up big every single night. Now, look, it is what it is. You win, you lose, yeah. you get criticized when you lose, you get praised when you win, and that's how it goes. So I'm not saying that he is beyond reproach here. But I can't do I can't do both. Like okay. I have to appreciate Jimmy for what he's been able to do in this post. Shady, I almost and I know you can't feel bad in sports. You can't. But I almost felt bad during the fourth quarter of that game yesterday. The end of the third and the fourth for this reason, two five, and, and you'll be able to feel this point. I'm watching Max Struess, Caleb Martin, uh, Kyle Lowry, Gabe Vincent fight for their lives. But they're just not as talented as the other guys. Yep. They're just not. They're not as big, they're not as fast, they're not as strong, they're mm -hmm. not any of that. They're not as big as MPJ, who's 6'10", Aaron Gordon, who's a top five pick, and he said, they're just not. But you know who is? Jimmy Butler. Yeah. And while I was watching, I was like, Jimmy, you are one of two people, you and Bam, that is talented enough to do something about what's going on right now. You're the only one. Right. It's been time, Shady, when you were my previous teammate, we're playing somebody, Detroit Lions, snow game. I encourage y'all to go watch the YouTube clips. There was like eight inches of snow before we went out on the field. I couldn't run, really couldn't nobody run, but somehow, some way, LaShawn McCoy was playing like it was 75 and sunny. I've never been more impressed with another athlete than Shady in that game. That was a game where I was like, Shady's the only one. He's the only one who can do something. That's how I felt about Jimmy last night, but he didn't do it. He was the only one who could save the day, and he didn't save the day. Can he be a number one? I'm going to say yes. All right, I'm not going to kill Jimmy like you did, but there were some other players I will kill, so don't, don't feel bad. 
I just think that mm. Jimmy is a, is a really, really good player. I think he's a star. The playoff Jimmy didn't come from this this year. It's been for the, the couple of years of him balling out in the playoffs, getting busy. Mm -hmm. Carry them type of guys you talked about. My thing with, with the Heat is, you want to look at Jimmy, let's look at Bam. I think he needs a stronger number two. I think Bam is a two and a half, three type player. Okay. Jimmy needs one more guy to go with him. Jimmy Butler is not a offensive volume player. That's never been his game. His game is a great two-way player. I'm going to guard your best player on offense, and I'm going to get buckets. I'm going to play physical. I'm going to play in the post. I'm going to shoot a couple threes. I'm going to shoot a mid-range game. I'm going to get fouls. I'm going to go to the free throw line. That's Jimmy's game. I just feel like when I watched his last game last night, it just, it was too late. He tried to turn it on too late. Yeah. And I think him as an offensive player, him figuring out when it's time to go and when it's time to chill. And, and, and you talked about all the other players, the role players that, that did a, a great job of trying to win the game for him. Yes, sir. The difference is, is that they're not, they're not getting guarded by the top guy. The defensive of strategies is always for Jimmy Butler, right? Like Aaron Gordon, I mean, bro, he's a top five player. He's six, what, six nine, six ten? Mm -hmm. Strong. Five, five, Come yeah. on. So my thing is, like, he had the, the harder defenders. I don't want to give him excuses because I hate giving excuses to people. I don't care about his ankle injury. I don't care about none of that. He has to be better. But I think how he can be better is the, if the Miami Heat, we talk about this culture, well, let's see the culture. Go out there and give him a real number two, and let's see what happens. Hmm. Strong. Uh, note to self, any time that Emmy Acho gets into preacher cadence, give him a wide berth. <laughs> um, I am not going to kill Jimmy uh, or limited buckets either. Um, Jimmy no buckets? Yeah, uh, whatever we want to call him. And in part because Jimmy has never claimed to be a guy who's going to be a number one who's going to take a team to the finals. Sure. Right? And I, too, was shocked at how docile he was through the first three quarters. We talked about it on the, on, on the text string. We're just like, why, why is he not being more aggressive? I saw him, he had Michael Porter Jr. in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and he never even looked to, to attack the basket. But I've also seen this Jimmy over a number of games, and my feeling has been, and this is where it's difficult, I don't know what he's got left. I don't know where he is physically. I don't know where he is mentally. And he looked to me like a guy who was saving it for the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. who was like, I'm the guy who's supposed to bring it home, but I don't have it for four quarters. So let me see if I can get other guys there and we can keep it close. And then you saw, like, suddenly he gave you that burst. He hit a three. He had that crazy foul on Aaron Gordon and was able to get you three more free throws, made all three. Like, he was missing free throws early. He was doing, like, but there was a different Jimmy. You saw a glimpse of that fourth quarter Jimmy once again last night. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It just wasn't. <laughs> enough and that's answer, a big deal though slick well to answer the question like i've never thought that jimmy could be the number one on a championship caliber team unless you've got like just a super duper team around him he can be your leader he can be your emotional leader he can get he can be your iq leader but he's still to shady's point he's he's, he's six 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 seven he's not it, it, he doesn't jump out of the gym. He's not, he doesn't have a, a particular physical advantage. And you put somebody like Aaron Gordon on him, who is yeah. probably more athletic, bigger, stronger. Uh, he can just, make just the game quick. difficult yeah. on Jimmy. And but I think I got to that, veto that. And, and, and Joy's made brilliant points severally before. There are only so many number ones. I got to veto it for this reason. Jimmy gave you 13 points in two and a half minutes. He gave you a couple buckets in people's eyes. Right. His six sixness did not matter for those two and a half minutes. As difficult as they made it on him, he got them points at will. Like, Where, bomb, 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 free throws, bomb, bomb, free throws. Where did he get them? He got four of them at the free throw line. He got two three-pointers, and then he made another bucket. I mean, but isn't it insane that he's expected to do that? Like, Jokic isn't expected to do that. He doesn't have to do that because he has an incredible roster around him of a lot of talent. I just, I can't, I can be honest and fair about what this Miami roster is and what they've been able to do. Okay, Joy, okay. Yeah. I've been waiting for this, like, Joy they're Taylor. they're better. They're we've, been, we've, been hold, we've been saying this. Are yeah, you trying to like, oh, are they good? Because they're balling on it. No, like, they are, they are, okay. they are I feel like she's coming over. She's they're coming the, over. They're the second best team in the NBA this year. Yeah. They're better than the entire Eastern Conference. What they weren't better than is the best team in the Western Conference, okay. who is the Denver Nuggets. And there is a big gap between the Nuggets and every other team yeah, in the NBA, which we'll get to in a moment. Gap. At least but, a No, there's, there's a lot. There's a big gap. Because the Western Conference Finals was a sweep. So there's a big gap between, in my opinion, between them and everyone else in the NBA. Like I said, we'll get to this in a moment. But Jimmy, when you really look at what Jimmy did throughout the entirety of the playoffs, because, again, he was the vessel that got them to the finals. Right. 
Mm -hmm. He was. You have to say Max Struess, Vincent, I, they were ghosts and, and, in the last and, and, two and, games. And like I can't, I can't talk about what they did in the in the fourth quarter of that game. Where were they in games two, uh, three, and four at home? Nowhere, nowhere to be found. Where and if you? You, and if you watch how they ran the offense, if you when when, when Jimmy Butler had the ball, you see what they were doing? Mm -hmm. They were trying so hard to get the pick with with um, him and um, um, Jamal Murray. Mm -hmm. He wasn't just going one-on-one -on, -one on Aaron Gordon. They no. were trying to get the mismatch the whole game. Right. That should tell you something. Okay, let's get this big sucker off of Jimmy yeah, Butler. No doubt. He played more minutes than any other player in the playoffs. Here's my thought, though, is mm, like, too, yes. when, you're, when you're talking about these dudes, and, and to be a number one, we're, we're not talking, I mean, you got to be the next tier of elite. Yeah. Like, Joy's brought this up, and it's been brilliant. There are only so many number ones, probably yeah. five or six of them currently playing. But when I go down the list, Slick, I think about it like this. Jimmy Butler, in my mind, is more Clay than he is Steph. Jimmy Butler is more AD than he is LeBron. Jimmy Butler is more Kyrie than he is LeBron. Jimmy Butler is more mm. Tony Parker than he is Tim Duncan. Jimmy Butler is more Pal than he is Kobe. Like, Jimmy Butler is more two than he is one. It's not to say there's any problem with that, Dang. but it's just to say that, like, I, it, it, it hurt me to watch because I was truly perplexed, Joy. Like, Jimmy, it's, this is it. This is it. So but how do you feel you... the same? Do you feel the same way about Jason Tatum? That's what I'm just yes. Checking. Right so he's now not, he's not a yeah. Right okay, now, okay. Jimmy, okay. Jason Tatum, Devin okay. Booker, they are all they've but all Jimmy been there. Jimmy has been the one on yeah. a team that's been in the NBA Finals twice in the last four years. Correct. I said the only reason I mentioned Tatum and Booker because they've only they've also been there only once, obviously. Right. Um, but that's 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 one more time which, that which, they've gotten there. I, but but, but, short, but right. also like yeah, they just they came short, but it's. It's just hard for me to sit here and say that when Jimmy is the reason why they're there. Like, I, I right. don't, like, how, how can I be critical of someone who is the reason why they're there? Play the most minutes, average 26.9 points in the playoffs, scored second most, the second most points of anyone in the playoffs except mm -hmm. for Nikola Jokic, who was the finals MVP and just won in five. Because there's players that be great. Right, yes, that sir. gets you there. That don't win. And, and like, as you like, mentioned, because like, this guy's like, like Barkley, like like Iverson. Mm -hmm. You won't dare say they're not a number one. No, and no. they and they took their team but and also, didn't win. Clay is right. not. Clay has you not been saying? the number one the on a number team. Two. That's, yes, but Clay has never been the number one on a team that's t t he's taken them to the finals twice. Right, agreed. That I just part think matters. that like we don't talk enough, at least, and maybe it's shame on us. We don't talk about going to the finals. We talk about winning. That's sure, fine. Sure. Like, yeah. we, like, we like winners. As, you know, we, like, as, we, like winners. as we should. As we should. Like, as we should. Like, my only thought, though, is, and Slick, and, and I'll, I'll let you kind of run it home, is this. In the Eastern Conference Finals, there was a debate as who was the most valuable player. The reason mm -hmm. I say there was a debate, there literally was one. Nine mm -hmm. panelists, esteemed voters voted. Mm -hmm. Four votes went to Caleb Martin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five votes went to Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. So it was not clear cut that Jimmy was the best player in the Eastern Conference Finals. If we were to all cast our ballots, who was the best player in this series for the Miami Heat, it would be, I would hope, Bam out of bio fairly unanimously. I would hope that y'all watched enough of the games to see, like, yo, Bam was playing like crazy. Mm -hmm. A first impression is a lasting impression. Jimmy's first impression was phenomenal. 56 points versus the Bucks, 42 points versus the Bucks. But Slick, if we're being honest with ourselves and honest with the tape, yeah. the last nine games for the Miami Heat, Caleb Martin was arguably the mm -hmm. best player, literally, and Bam Adebayo was the best player. So that's just where I'm torn. Mm -hmm. It's not like Jimmy was the best player for all four freaking series. He was the best player for two. Caleb was arguably for one, and Bam was for one. This is my issue with the debate over Caleb Martin being potentially better than Jimmy Butler against the Boston Celtics. Yes, sir. Is you could say he was more impact, or he was equally impactful or more impactful. But you're still running everything through Jimmy Butler. Yes, sir. True. You're not. The Boston Celtics were never focusing on making the game hard on Caleb Martin. And he took advantage right, of that. Right. He exploited that. It's a, I'll go back to when the Spurs swept the Cleveland Cavaliers and Tony Parker was the finals MVP. MVP yep. Tim Duncan was the. Where, which I got, I got it right there. <laughs> Tim Duncan was the, was the guy that the Cavs were focused on, and Tony Parker took advantage of it. And so does that make him the MVP? Does that make him the most valuable player? Well, he, he, he exploited the attention that the other guy was getting. Jimmy Butler was getting all the attention. And look, at some point, it does come down to matchups. Mm -hmm. Like, even in the finals, were the Denver Nuggets trying to stop Bam Adebayo? Or were they like... 
We'll let him get what he can get, but the guy that we can't let go and get going is Jimmy Butler because Jimmy Butler, when he gets going, absolutely. Now he gets Gabe Vincent and oh, absolutely. Yeah. and everybody else going. Shady, here's why I'm frustrated with that. I know we got to go. Here's why I'm frustrated with that you get this get this final thought off is even when you face an eight man box, eight man box, five defensive, four defensive linemen, four linebackers, whatever the case may be. I still need you to get busy because you're LaShawn McCoy. Now, I would hope that the passing game eats too. But eat, no, 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 don't hear me. Even I, when I you get you, an but, eight but, man but, box, I would hope that I, you could still get busy because of who you are. I'm always going to give out crazy work. This is in my DNA. But on, some, on, a, on a real topic, like playing with Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Macklin, yes. right? We different from playing with just <laughs> Sammy Watkins sometime. Yeah, right. like it's a difference. Oh, I love this Appreciate show. Because Bam it. ain't no Rodman. Let's keep it real. He not no Robin though. He be up and down. First half, he was he was balling out. Couldn't even find him in the second half. Is he playing? Just you calling people out? Call it out. Hey. Bam must hey. be okay. We lost the preacher cave. Come on, man. <laughs> Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.